what was your reaction and emotions upon uh, the news? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously you hear lots of rumors and especially for me, it's been that way for um, quite some time. Um, but yeah, I was just, you know, just doing my doing my thing in the morning and, uh, you know, I kind of woke up and people were saying I might get traded or I got traded and didn't know what to believe. And then I got Kyle, uh, Kyle called me and told me I was going to Pittsburgh. So um, super excited about that. Obviously, I think, you know, it's where it all began for me, um, which is pretty cool. And uh, just grateful that Jimmy and and, uh, you know, Mike Sullivan, these guys want me to go there. So um, it's been an exciting day. Next, we'll go to Seth Rohrabaugh from the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Hi, Kasperi. Welcome back, and thank you for your time. No problem. Thank you. I just spoke with Jim Rutherford, and he suggested that, you know, they looked at you specifically as a guy who can play their top six, and that means obviously playing with Sidney Crosby or, or Evgeny Malkin. Um, just how much of a weight does that feel like or just responsibility does that feel like getting your assignment playing with one of those two players potentially? Um I don't think so. In that way, I think it's it's a very positive thing. Um, you know, even even the fact that they think that I could be in one of those two spots is you know just a huge honor for me. Obviously, playing with one of the two uh, better better hockey players in the world, but um, it does mean that I got to be hit the gym soon and start working hard for next year. I, you know, I, I want to be great and I want to come uh, come into camp ready to go and show everybody that you know I'm not I'm not messing around. So. Like I said, I'm very excited to be be back in Pittsburgh and excited for this opportunity. Next, we'll go to Josh Getzoff from Penguins Radio Network. Hey, Kasperi. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, I guess just, you know, I know a lot has changed, obviously, since, since you were drafted, but the familiarity with the Penguins organization, just as you said, kind of coming back to the beginning, how much does that play a role for you in a situation maybe where there would be a lot of uncertainty to, to know some things about Pittsburgh coming back here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was lucky enough to be there for a short period of time when I got drafted and um, you know, I was with Wilkes-Barre and, you know, some of the guys are still playing with the, with the pens now. And, um, you know, I'm familiar with, you know, pretty much the whole team and I know who everybody is and a lot of, uh, you know, friends on that team too. So, it, it, it makes it a whole lot easier than, you know, going to a new team in a new city that, you know, I'm not familiar with. So um, lucky in a way, I guess, for me. So um, like I've been telling all you guys, I, I'm very excited. You know, my, my family's excited. Um, you know, my girlfriend and, and everybody here um, is, is excited for me. So uh, just can't get that uh, ready to go back to work. Next, we'll go to Wes Crosby with NHL.com. Hey, Kasperi, thanks for doing this. Um, no problem. You, you kind of touched on it a bit there, but just what were your impressions uh, of the Penguins as an organization, as a prospect, and what have your impressions been since uh, moving on kind of from afar here? I mean, since the day I got drafted, it was very exciting. Um, you know, like I said, with with everybody that was on that team, team then and, you know, the players that are still on this team now, I think they have a lot of potential and, um, you know, kind of, kind of like our team this year with the Leafs, we just didn't uh, didn't perform, but there's still a lot of potential, and I think that's exciting for for everybody, especially for me. So, I um, mean, you know, I talked to Jim, I talked to to Mike, and and uh, you know, they're excited to have me too. So, I feel like I fit in that role really well, and um, we'll see what the future holds for the team. We'll go back to Michelle. Kasper, I know this is kind of a tough question, but how would you say that you've maybe grown as a as a person and a player in the five years since you were last year? Um, you know, I think when I was drafted, I was a little one one dimensional. I mean, I, I love to play on offense and with the puck, and um, everything else was kind of lacking for me, especially to make that hop into the NHL. Um, and I got you know I got traded to Toronto, and they put me through the the AHL process, which I'm, you know, looking back at now, very grateful for, um, you know, they turned me into more of a two way player, which I think uh, has helped me in the long run for sure. Um, so in that way, I think, you know, I've been playing the penalty kill for the last three years, um, you know, a bit more physical. I've been trying to be more, more gritty, um, just more of an all around person and, and a player too. So, um, you know, I'm older now than I was back then. So, um, a lot, a lot has changed for sure. Just a two-way player. Um, you know, obviously, I love, I love scoring goals. Who doesn't? I love, um, you know, playing with the puck and, and, and making plays, but at the same time, 
on the other side of it, I, I want to forecheck and be be physical and, and be that guy to kind of get in your face a little bit and, and knock you off your game. Um, you know, I think that's, you know, I, I have a knack for that and a bit of an element for that. And that's something that I've been trying to turn my game into. And um, like I said, I, I'm very grateful that I, I played with the Marlies for such a long time. So I know how to defend better, which uh, which I need to need to do and I still need to be working on. So there's a lot I need to, to improve on. But I think, you know, it's a two way player is, you know, the best way to describe my game. Mike DeFabo with Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. Hey, Kasperia, I appreciate you making some time for us. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Jim Rutherford was talking after the Penguins uh, lost in the postseason, and he said that they needed more young, hungry players to change the identity and makeup of the team. I guess in what ways do you feel like you will help them accomplish that goal? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like I'm an energy player. Uh, I try to bring as much energy as I can. Um, and do everything I can really to, you know, to help the team. And I'm not going to be the biggest goal scorer, the point maker. That's not my job, but just to be part of the team and, and do really anything, anything possible to, to help our team win night in and night out is, you know, something that I'm going to try to do. And um, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I'm just uh, very excited to be back. We'll go to Seth Rohrball, Pittsburgh Tribune Review. Hey, Kasperi, uh, two years ago, you set some career highs with, not, with uh, you know, goals, points, assists, et cetera. Uh, last year, or this past year, the numbers came down a little bit. Obviously, there was the stoppage due to the pandemic. But um, what was different for you from two years ago to compared to this past year, if anything? Um, yeah, I think, you know, last two years ago, I, you know, I had uh, a good season. And, you know, just coming in this year, I think, Right off the hop, it wasn't you know the start that I wanted, and I I don't think it was the start for the team that um, the team wanted either. So you know we made a small change, and um, tough to say. You know it's just one of those years where I guess you know a bit of a sophomore slump, and um, puck wasn't going in for me, and and just overall my game was very iffy. So um, something that I wasn't too happy with, and um, you know I thought I'd try to get it back for the playoffs, and and you know. Just me and I feel like our team could have done a lot better. So that's kind of a, you know, a, a bad way to end things with the team. But I'm very grateful for the opportunity that they gave me, uh, you know, these past five years. But um, it's got to look uh, towards the future. Seth, do you have one more or are you good? Uh, yeah, um, Kasperi, I'm just curious. Do you still have any of the um, things you had on draft day or from the first training camp here in Pittsburgh, like a jersey, a hat, anything, anything any of those things still? Yeah, you guys got to give uh, my mom call about that stuff. I'm sure she has it um, somewhere stored away. Um, you know, I think after, after the trade, um, she might have put it away and they made some room for some leaf stuff, but I'm sure uh, she'll pull that out now. <laughs> 